Hey guys, this is Vignesha from Phone Arena. This is day 179 of 2017 and you're watching Phone Arena Daily. Another massive ransomware attack is hitting across the globe, including UK, US and Russia. Several companies confirmed so far to have fallen victim to the Golden Eye Petya ransomware. The attack makes use of the same vulnerability that allows for the spread of the WannaCry ransomware in May. The Petya ransomware hijacked the victim's computer before encrypting their files and holding them hostages until a fee is paid. Xiaomi at its annual Mi ecosystem event in China introduced Mi 9 Bot Plus, a new mini scooter and the successor of the last year's 9 Bot. It also offers improved stability and also has an integrated machine learning that learns speed, balance, agility, recovery and braking system that will be adjusted according to the best suits the users. Xiaomi also launched Mi Laser Projector that has an ALPD 3.0 laser technology with a white color gamut and a 5000 lumens brightness. It has a Mi TV built in to watch movies and shows easily. Even though it comes with a remote, you can also use your smartphone as a remote. The company says that it has been developed over two years of research and development. After Qualcomm introduced its next-gen fingerprint scanning solution, Vivo has announced its under-display fingerprint scanning solution called Vivo Under Display that offers under-display fingerprint scanning. The company demoed it for the first time at the MWC 2017 Shanghai event on a prototype and will be used in its future smartphones. This can be used under the screen, behind the metal shell, or even in the frame. The Vivo Under Display Fingerprint Unlocking Solution is based on Qualcomm fingerprint sensors. The ultrasounds from the sensor can penetrate an OLED display that is 1.2 mm thick to recognize user fingerprint. Qualcomm at the Mobile World Congress Shanghai 2017 introduced the Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 mobile platform, which is the successor to last year's Snapdragon 435. Targeted at a mid-range smartphone and tablets, this is the first one in the Snapdragon 400 series that is based on 14 nanometer FinFET process and has up to 1.8 GHz ARM Cortex-A53 cores and Adreno Fine R6 GPU. It also promises 25% increase in computer performance and graphic performance compared to its predecessor. It also has a USB 3.0 support, Quick Charge 3.0 support, Snapdragon X9 LTE modem and 802.11 AC with MUMIMO support. On the other hand, Qualcomm has also announced a next-generation fingerprint solution at the Mobile World Congress Shanghai 2017. This consists of a sensors for display, glass and metal, detection of directional gestures, an underwater fingerprint match, and device wake-up. And today's deal of the day is an offer on headphones and Bluetooth speakers on Flipkart. You can buy it from the link in the description below. And before signing off, we are back with another giveaway. This time we are giving away 5 Platronics Voyager B230 Pro UC Bluetooth headset powered by BlackBerry Mobile India. For more information regarding the giveaway, do check out the link in the description below. And this brings us to the point of today's discussion. What do you think about the underglass fingerprint sensor? Do let us know in a comment section below. And this is Vignesha signing off. Bye-bye.